Alright, what's up guys? My name is Ruby sure you know that and today I'm basically just gonna be telling a story about my one of my best friends named Cody throwing up on a really stupid ride and then almost getting a girlfriend. So about two weeks ago, me, my friend Jacob, Cody, and Francisco, we all went to a water park slash amusement park and I had like a roller coaster and then like mainly fair rides uh like besides the roller coaster and then it obviously just had the regular water park. Now my friend Cody, when he got there, his armpits were just drenched sweat. And we were all kind of messing with him about it. I don't think I have it on my phone, but if I do, I will put a picture up because I uh, took pictures and I had it on my Snapchat, but I don't know for sure if I screenshotted it and like put it on my camera roll. So you already know he was really freaking just scared of everything that we did and he only did like four or five different rides before we got to those pirate ships if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about those pirate ships and it goes like back and forth and back and forth and at one point it like it's just like a line it's that freaking straight and like me francisco and jacob had already done this like three or four times and we finally talked cody into doing it so we were like in the middle seats to where you don't get that high off of the ground and this kid <laughs> When we get to the middle, like when we get to the bottom, he passes out and then we go up and then we go back and then he wakes back up when we get back into the middle and he throws up everywhere. And now I guess I'm just a bad friend, but I just laughed so hard and all my friends or my two other friends were just saying like, dude, you are right, you are right. And I was tearing up from laughing like so hard because I thought it was like the funniest thing ever. But about two hours later, we went to the water park side and you know, we were all flexing our muscles you already know we got the muscles but i went into an actual different entrance they just grabbed like lazy river floats off the side and i actually went to the place and like grabbed a float and i knew that they were gonna eventually come around and i was gonna meet up with them so i just kind of stayed there because i was lazy and i didn't have flip-flops so my feet were burning really bad and so when i see these fools let me explain to you what i see cody is like the palest kid i know so you, all you see is one Mexican, which is Francisco, one overweight kid, which is Jacob, and then you see the Pell kid, Cody, and no, 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 it's not just a Pell kid, Cody. He has a two-seater float, and he's not just in a two-seater float, like, telling Jacob to get in because they're really good friends, or Francisco, or even me. This kid has a hot girl in his freaking float. And I was kind of like, I didn't have my glasses on. I might have had contacts in, but I don't know for sure. But I was like, Cody! And I was like screaming his name and crap, but I didn't want to ruin his chance. So I was kind of like, I was kind of being quiet, but at the same time, I was loud as frick. Let's be real, boys. I was loud as frick. And I swear, when I got over there, I scared the girl off. So, um... At the very last second, Cody screamed, What's your Instagram? And oh my god, dude. It was kind of cringy, but he had balls. And we never actually found out what her Instagram was. She told us, but um, like the name is spelled in different ways. And we weren't even really listening that well. I was just in shock. I don't. Jacob was screaming. That's what Cody keeps on saying. Cody blames it on freaking Jacob because he said that he was screaming. And Francisco just had his goggles like swimming underwater. Uh, but yeah, the moral of the story is there isn't a moral of the story. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe. I'm doing a giveaway at 150 subscribers. Yeah, guys. Peace. Baby. So divine, yet so divine I'll never see you anymore